Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. What an incredible morning it has been. I mean, we just had the producer of Saved by the Bell, last comic standing, that's right, Peter Engel. Later on in the show, we're going to have the CEO of Dry Bar, John Hefner, and we'll be ending the Hero Show today with the largest independently owned watch retailer in the U.S., Thank you, too, for all your feedback from our recent hero we had on, the President of the United Nations. Well, listen up and listen real closely. We have Greg Head, the co-founder of SalesLogic. This was the first mid-market CRM software, which went public and was bought by Sage PLC for $300 million. He was the chief executive officer at Infusionsoft the CRM geared towards small business owners. You could reach him at greghead.com. Now, Greg, you spent most of your, in, most of your experience and your, your, your work in the customer relationship management. What changes do you see impacting the industry in the next five years? Because you're pretty much the expert with CRM. Well, David, I've been in the CRM business uh, for most of my career, 30 years in the software business, and I have to correct you, I was Chief Marketing Officer, CMO got of it. Infusionsoft, not CEO. Clayton Mask would call me got it, got right it. after this uh, broadcast <laughs> yeah. here. Um, and the technology business has changed, and the business of starting and growing business has changed, uh, but the fundamentals of sales and marketing uh, haven't changed underneath the tactics. And the CRM, uh, customer relationship management software, is for salespeople and companies to manage their contacts, and, and it's what salespeople use to, to help sell more. So uh, now it's mobile, it's web, it's connected to everything, um, and it helps uh, businesses of all sizes grow faster. Now, you regularly speak about issues that CEOs face. I mean, you are really the go-to person. You're speaking all the time. You work with a ton of startups and stuff. Let's talk about, though, what CEO freakout means to you and, and how that was all coined. Well, in the last year since I left uh, Infusionsoft, I've, I, uh, I coach and consult with CEOs of growing businesses of all types. And, uh, you know, everybody underestimates the challenges and the difficulties that it takes to run a business, a small business. Uh, and it's even more challenging when you have one of those uh, crazy uh, dreams to grow it big or you're on the journey. And uh, so it gets even harder there. It's like climbing Everest uh, when you're trying to go from one to 10 million. And, uh, but most people don't know that, that the climax of the movie where you're at the top of Everest and there's no air and everybody, you know, dies and it's really tough. That actually comes in the early stages for these growth businesses that grow up, the one to 10 million. And uh, it's really hard on CEOs and everybody uh, who's running a business at that stage is, uh, is facing really interesting and deep challenges. So you can't uh, go get... Uh, go through it without getting a few scars and learning a lot of lessons. In fact, you were one of the uh, early employees of Axe Software, and we recently had Mike Muni. In fact, oh, he great. flew in for awesome. one of our grand tables. Love Mike. He's the uh, co-founder of Act uh, Software, so great guy. And you've helped uh, advise many startups in that, and you talked about the $1 million to $10 million revenue to deal with. What is the difference? What are some of the things that you see that are different from startups the, on the startup stage until they reach that one million, and really, what what makes it that one million be that magic number on up? Well, uh, there's a big difference between little companies and independent freelancers who just start and get a little business going, and there's a lot of those out there, and that is just totally awesome. And usually, about half a million to one million in revenues, you're starting to realize you're either onto something or what the thing is or the multiple things, and you're getting more team members, and it's starting to you know take shape, and that's a major milestone for a lot of companies. Um, the myth is that uh, getting to five or 10 million and keep on growing that thing is the same sport. Uh, it actually changes sport a lot. <laughs> CEOs have to change what they do. They go from entrepreneur and salesperson to CEO. Inside the business, uh, it changes. 
And outside, it goes from, you know, there's a, a, a challenge that everyone faces to be m to go from many things to many people to, you know, to something that the outside world recognizes is the best in the w at one thing. And that's, you know, going from ADD to OCD is a real challenge for a lot of entrepreneurs. And I'm here with the former chief marketing officer of Infusionsoft, Greg Head, who could be reached at greghead.com. And I'm David Kogan with the Alliances Hero Show. You can learn more and you can go to alliances.com. That's E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com, the place where entrepreneurs align. We have a large community of experts. It's the place to go. We'll also have the clip of our interview here today on our website. Uh, but talk about, let's talk about some things here. How can entrepreneurs really tune their business model, though, to keep up with the momentum, especially when things really start taking off? Yeah, when, so that's a magical time when you've started in a business and it's all hard and you find something in there uh, that's starting to grow and it takes, usually takes longer than you think. But when, it, when it's taking off, uh, you know, because entrepreneurs have grown up in survival mode, like in the firefight, and, you know, uh, when it starts to take off, their brain wants to say, well, well, let's do more of everything. Let's create more products. Let's add more features. Let's reach more markets. I always wanted to sell to everybody and sell everything anyway. And the contradiction uh, is in the reality, like you can't get through it, is that you actually have to start narrowing in there. Find the best customers who want that one thing, and that's where all the rocket rides come from. It's not from selling everybody, everything to everybody. It's finding a narrow niche of people that have a really big need, and you're at the top of their list, and you're focused on that thing. I mean, look at Amazon. It was just books online uh, in the beginning. And look at McDonald's. It was just burgers, and now it isn't. And now it's in and out Burger, by the way, out here out <laughs> west. Right. It's only burgers and has the lines out front. So you'll find that the restaurants or the businesses that have the lines out front and are growing like crazy are really focused. And uh, that's, a, that's a challenge to find your focus and then stay focused. All right, Craig, I got a good question for you now. People, product, price. What's the most important one? Well, in the growth game, I'm going to say product. It's what you sell and deliver to the market and how customers experience that. And in order to make that great and deliver it every day, you need people. And in order to scale it up, you need process. But let's put your product or service out front. That's what people buy. And customers have needs, and that's what we experience. I think In-N-Out Burgers are great. I don't, and I know they have a process. I can see it. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it, and their people are really happy, and that's really good. But I go for the burgers, and the Love fries. It. Love it. All right. If you were speaking to a room full of college juniors, including your two children who are also in college, what is the most important thing you would share with them about entering the real world? Well, I have these conversations a lot, and. Uh, <laughs> Um, a little therapy for with my kids, who uh, my, my eldest uh, is uh, graduating from university in three months. Uh, and aside from finding something that uh, really turns them on, I think that's part of the game, uh, is you have to find something that's really useful for the world that you can solve a real problem. This is all about helping and solving and creating real results. It's not another game. So once you start with that, you can make anything else up around that. And there's a lot of problems to be solved in the world, and uh, so you got to go pick one. Well, Greg, you're definitely respected in the community. You're a builder in our community. You help small business owners. You help entrepreneurs find their way to the many challenges faced on the road. And that makes you a hero. Go to greghead.com to learn more. Thank you again for being here. And when we return, we're going to have the CEO of Drybar. Thank you again, David Kogan with Alliances.